Hey y'all, welcome back to Ascending with Ashley. I'm Ashley. Uh, I guess this is a story time. Um, if you were here for the one I made earlier today, talking about being an autistic person as an adult, uh, I kind of went into left field on that and started talking about spirituality. One thing I mentioned was going to stores and people staring at me when I'm out in the public. Um, and I talked about that I thought it was because of my aura. Well, let me tell you a story. <laughs> Today, I needed change for art space, which I really didn't need. Um, but anyway, I had to go to the grocery store because I don't have a bank in this town. Uh, and so, we went to the grocery store to get change and groceries and whatnot. I've been doing grocery pickup because of the amount of glances that I keep receiving. It's making me very uncomfortable. So anyway, the fair is in town too, so, you know, I tried to go, we went around like 10 o'clock and it felt like everyone and their mother was at the grocery store. And then, it was time for us to check out. There was only two lanes open, one like express 15, or 15 items or less, and then like a regular one, right? Okay, so two cash registers were open. Um... And, um, I shit you not, by the time I got my stuff to get checked out, um, at that point there were probably 30 people in line, like, in any of the lines. They had to open up, like, at least three registers in addition to the other two. Um, and so what I want to talk to you about is energy. Uh, because this used to freak me out. I get really fucking annoyed when this happens because I would prefer to just not have human contact but I've come to a place where I understand that I cannot get this I can't get this bath bomb mold apart anyway so that's what I'm working on over here um I have come to a place of understanding that as a person like as a healer I'm a healer right energetically people just kind of flock and so I wanted to tell this story because I don't like it, I hate it, but it's real. And it's important to be in spaces, I've come to learn. Um, there's also a term called grid worker. I don't know if you're familiar with this term. I feel like that's what I am because I'm kind of a nomad. But that's a person who like travels or moves around a lot and like heals different areas of not only like the population but also like the earth. Um, I really resonate with that. I kind of want to move on to what's next, but I'm trying to set roots here. But anyway, I just had to share the story because, um, it made me laugh. I went with the intention of really harnessing and channeling power today because it is Friday the 13th and Friday the 13th has been very demonized. We've talked about the number 13 on this channel for... Uh, couple different segments on here. <sighs> Daya! Anyway. Um, so, it's Friday the 13th. It is a day for the Divine Feminine to bask in the glory of the power that they are uh, as a collective, right? Um... And so, and like the planet itself is part of that collective, right? The divine feminine, <laughs> Mother Earth, Mother Nature, Gaia, whatever you call her. Um, anyway, so it was a really interesting experiment that I did and I was laughing so hard because I don't know about you, I don't know how people react to your energy, but I swear to God, every time I go anywhere, all of a sudden there's like at least five to ten people like I don't care where it is if it's a drive-thru like everything could be deserted and then all the fucking sudden we go and like just all of these people flock to the energy and it's an energetic thing right and a lot of people aren't aware of what's happening they're just like oh it's time for us to go but like literally <laughs> today was crazy because I've never I think there's there must be more people here um, because of the fair, um, but it was like crazy, you know, it's a work day. I don't know, I think school was out today, I'm not sure why. Random holidays, does the fair count? I don't fucking know, we homeschool. Um, but ultimately, there were like 
it felt like there were thousands of people in the grocery store and it was and I tried really hard because usually I try to just like I think I have a resting bitch face but it's really just anxiety and I'm like oh my god get me the fuck out of here because people stare at me like I'm crazy um but I don't think they are staring at me like I'm crazy this is something I've really been working on for the past couple months um especially doing grocery pickup I get so anxious when I go in the grocery store and it's just like heads turning like it's so uncomfortable I don't like that um you know I don't I don't like that so anyway uh this was crazy it was pretty intense to see how many people were checking out at the same time um it was interesting like when I started when I got in line I got in the 15 or plus line so there were like three people in each of the two cash registers when I got in line and then all of a sudden <laughs> there were I swear to god I didn't really look because I don't really like to look but I could feel it and then they kept calling for like more cash cashiers and stuff um it was very interesting <laughs> uh so anyway I I'm going to do that again I really enjoy like I literally will not run errands until after 9 a.m. on weekdays <laughs> because I don't want to be around other people I am very intentional about that um because people have really shitty energy and like I said in the other one today I am an energetic sponge um, but apparently I'm also like a transformer, transmitter, transmitter, <laughs> what I'm giving it to. Um, so anyway, these are all things you can't see. I'm sure people are watching this being like, oh my god, I'm just going crazy again. No bitch, you're crazy. You have no fucking clue what, what is what. <laughs> Leave me alone. Anyway, um, just wanted to share that. Oh, I just made a statue. It's cute. If I move it, it's not. I love random stuff. So anyway, pay attention when you go to the store. Play games with energy. Um, because it's fun. And if you're, when you get to a point like, like today, because I was so intentional about it. Um, I remember one time... I said this affirmation, it was while we were living on our land and we had to come into town um, and we took Woodstock to the dog park and he like ran out of the dog park because he's a fucking asshole. He's calmed down a lot since he has a playmate. But anyway, uh, that morning before we left our land and came into town, I was intentional about, and I said, I said this, I said, I am going to cross paths with people who I'm supposed to cross paths with today. like. Because I just get so anxious being around other humans. Because you never know. Guess what happened? When he ran out of the fucking dog park, some guy pulled over, got out of his car, and caught him on the sidewalk. And I had to, like, leave Niall in the dog park by himself and, like, run down the fucking street to go get my stupid dog. And, yeah, this guy was, like, there and just, like, holding him. And he's like, oh, he's so cute. And I'm like, oh, yeah, isn't he so cute? <laughs> So cute, how athletic I am. But anyway, I just wanted to share. Um, when you start to understand your own energy, when you have really taken a look at your own darkness um, and accepted it, and then also understand how people's projections and stuff, are really they really have nothing to do with you. What people think about you is really none of your business. Um, it has a lot, it's projections, right? Um, and reflections, but... Uh, and then also, <coughs> when conflict arises, you know, use that as a, uh, you know, if your body especially has, like, a visceral reaction to someone saying some stupid shit to you, and you, like, get really mad, explore that with curiosity, be like, why did I get so mad? Um, instead of just, you know, that guy was a dick, you're a dick, you know, you gotta move on from that. So, anyway, I just wanted to tell you that story. The bottlenecking at the fucking grocery store was crazy today. Um, and then, this is the best part. <laughs> I can't believe I didn't share this part. This is when you know you're a magical motherfucker. Uh, if you haven't seen how... 
10 things I hate about you, you should. Um, I told you guys a long time ago that Julia Stiles in that movie is someone that I fully re resonated with and she's kind of the person that like I took on that persona in like 8th grade and I like left all my friends and the popular friends um, and like just became this badass bitch, right? Uh, so anyway, we get a car, guess what's playing? I don't give a damn about my reputation by Joan Jett, which is the like opening credit song when she's driving to school in that movie and I was just laughing my ass off. So, happy Friday 13th if you're a divine feminine. Uh, really tap in today. The magic is live. <laughs> Have a good one.